Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can download and install this awesome application. This is going to be a full on full tutorial. Yes, you heard that right. I'm going to be explaining you everything about this application. So stay tuned. Before we get started, I would like to inform you this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. If you find any value in this video, which you will please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel. So let's get started. Yes, 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 like I said and mentioned, this application is awesome. You already know what it does, but you don't know how it works. You don't know how to download it. Well, you're at the right place. I'm going to explain everything from A till Z. Um, so yeah, uh, we're using a, a Google Chromecast 4K for this tutorial. And uh, yeah, but it will work on any Android based device like a Android box or a Sony TV, Philips TV that's already Android based. It will work on even on a fire stick, but um, it's a bit different there to install it, but the functionalities work the same. So yeah, let's get over, let's hop over to our app section and search for the application. So we're currently uh, gonna search for it. Um, just type over with me, check on my keyboard how we spell that. So this application is in the Google Play Store and uh, yeah, there's some confusion about it sometimes. I don't know why. So that's why you're seeing it like this. Uh, yeah, and then we're going to hit the magnifier button, hit OK on it. And of course, it's going to be the first application you see. So we're going to hit OK on that also. OK, and there you have it. As you can see, um, you're just going to hit OK to install and it will start installing the awesome application. So yes, let's let Google do its magic and wait for it to finish installing. And it's done, that simple, that fast. Now we're gonna hit uh, open, uh, just press okay. And you will ta be taken to a different screen. Well, it, it will ask you here that uh, uh, allow it to show over other applications you're gonna hit okay just hit okay because it's right now on the settings button it will take you to the settings and you'll scroll all the way down as you can see these are on these are turned off you will scroll all the way down and there you will see it it's the last one with me then um, you will hit okay and then you will hit back so now it is add it we're in the first screen after it gets installed and you've given the permission for the settings uh we're gonna hit okay again because it's gonna ask you to add uh wait okay so now you will get three options three options is what you will get to make this work um most of the time when you ask for this or when you get it or yeah, when you buy it, you will get a link. So it's going to be number one. In some cases, it's going to be uh, option number two, but like 90% of the time, it's going to be option one. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so we're going to also use option number one. It's going to be the long as URL that you need to fill in. Um, if you want to use the second one, you can split it up, the URL. So you'll only take the first part. And the second part after the keys and then the third part i, I won't go into that details because i know you've received option number one so that we're gonna hit okay on and then you'll be able to fill it in um there's some ways to do this you can either type it over and you're going to be busy for for maybe have 30 minutes to type it over and then you're going to have one character wrong you need to start over or you will use your uh, phone as a uh, uh, remote control which is possible on the iPhone or Android phones uh, if you have the Google Home application installed. It's called the Google Home application, the Home application from Google. If you have it installed, you can always find your Google device in your home. And you can click on the TV. In this case, it's a Chromecast named TV in my settings. Uh, I can click on remote. So let's go ahead and try that. So yeah, um, we're currently on my Android phone. Uh, there, the application is called Google TV, and on the iPhone, it's called Google Home. Um, so yeah, you select the device, you'll see it right away on your phone, and then it will ask you to confirm the code on the screen, and then it's connected for always. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go and hit next right here on the uh, Google Chromecast. 
and then you will get the option to type in the URL. So now you need to copy the text that you received, the URL, and uh, paste it in here. Uh, you can't see it good. Yeah, paste it right in here. It will go on your screen. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to now paste the link that I have, and I'm going to add it to here. There you go. Let's see. Where is it? There it is. Copy and paste. See, I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to hit enter again. Okay, on the remote control. And let it load up. So it's that easy, folks. Uh, it's really easy. I know you're seeing this image in front of it might be a bit annoying, but uh, exactly how I've explained, that's how it works. So, uh, yes. So if you fill it in correctly, it will go to loading. Uh, I even had a typo, even I did a copy paste, I still did something wrong. So uh, uh, it is loading now. Uh, it might take a minute, two, maybe three minutes. Who knows? Depends on uh, how big it is. Uh, let's uh, load it up. Okay, it's fully loaded. It will tell you what you will get, what's in it. And now you can choose your preferred name. Uh, I'm going to change it to te test. After I've uh, changed the name, I'm going to hit done. Okay, okay, okay. We're finally in the application and we've logged in. So here's what you get in the visual area where you see everything and... Uh, we're not going to go into that. What we're going to do today is we're going to see what functionalities are there. What can you do? What can you expect from it? Okay. So number one, uh, most importantly, you can purchase uh, this application premium in the Google Play Store. Uh, you need to uh, uh, download a different application for that. The companion application name plus companion. Uh, and then you will be redirected to that application where you can purchase a premium version uh, how you do that is you create an account email and a passport passport and you will log in with that uh, login on this application which we're going to do now why is because without the premium application the only thing you can practically do is uh, go up and go down and hit ok uh, there won't be any other uh, premium functionalities uh, for instance like reordering uh reordering the the the, the numbers um hiding hiding categories reordering categories uh making a favorites list um seeing also except the the visual current state also the the ones that are can I, how can I uh, express myself in this situation? Also, the ones that are two hours long and require you to uh, to watch it. That's not that's not possible without the premium. Okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and log in with a premium. So let's go ahead and go to our settings. You're just gonna press OK on uh, whatever you on, and then you are going to hit OK and then you're going to go down and then you're going to go left because then you will be in the settings and hit OK. So currently we're in the settings. Let me just show you again. You hit OK then you will get the options down. You will hit down left and then you will see settings right over there. See? Press OK and then uh, you'll be asked to unlock premium which we are going to do we're gonna hit ok we're gonna hit next and then uh, we're gonna hit ok again and then you can fill in your details uh, so let me go ahead and do that quickly on my phone um, just check this out Hopefully it's correct. Okay, it's correct. So we'll hit next. 
Uh, now we have five devices. You get with premium five devices. So I need to check one out. Okay, we are in uh, the settings right now. We've logged in. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go uh, go for some things. Uh, let's hit uh, general and we want this application to always start uh, Sorry about that We want this application to always start whenever we turn it on so that's why we do auto start app on boot also auto start on wake from sleep um, This you can all leave so just to be clear we've we've logged in the premium just to be clear and you have purchased the premium uh if you don't have the premium you can't change all this what i'm doing now again this is why i highly recommend you purchasing it it's also for five devices see wells has it you can share it it's a cheap as price a lifetime okay we went over to general let's now head over playlist and here you will see uh, the playlist itself. You can confirm it or disable it or add more. You will see uh, the name, the E, etc. source. You can add sources here if you want. If you have the login for it, just head over to it. Um, here you can actually add more sources. If you manage sources, and you do see add source you will be headed to this uh, this uh, setting right here and you can add a source uh, let's go back we don't need to add a source because that's already there um, yeah what else let's go to appearance let's see what the what settings we have here you can change the font size the uh, CC subtitle uh, settings, the guide, etc. Uh, play black. Uh, you can do the buffer size. I like to have this at large. This means uh, less buffering. Audio decoder and uh, video decoder. Leave it on hardware. Um, you can do audio pass through if you have a surround system. Uh, so if you don't have any sound, then make sure you hit this. Um, Remote control, you can uh, change whatever you want here. Uh, parental control, uh, to hide some things that you don't want others to see. Okay, let's get ho over back to playlist. Uh, this is the most important one where we're gonna check everything out. Um, we're gonna go all the way down. You'll have uh, update on start. You can leave that if you wanna update it while, while watching. You can update it if there's an update. We're gonna go to manage groups. This is uh, what I, I like to use. Here you can click on this and you can reorder these what you see right here, okay? So we're gonna, uh, you can hide groups, what you don't wanna see. If you have a long ass playlist here, you can hide it. Uh, you can show all groups by hitting this, but we can also uh, reorder them. Like here it says group sorting. I'll click on it and I wanna do it manually. Then I can click on reorder and then I can have these like this and this one I want like this. And it's that easy. Uh, so this is what, what I like to use the most. Uh, to, these are the first steps that I do. After that, you can also do that here and you can also do that here. It's, it's exactly the same. I don't need to show you that also or else it's going to be a 40 hours long minute uh, tutorial. Um, backup. A backup is also necessary because you put a lot of work into what we just hit right now. Gonna go back, gonna go back. We're gonna go to, where was backup? I think at about, no, uh, uh, I mean about, no, ah, oh, damn. Um, let's see. Not here. General. Yeah, here. Backup data, restore data. Here you can actually back it up and save it. Uh, you can also restore it by clicking here. So you'll back it up and save it somewhere on your device or on a USB stick, external or ex a USB stick, if you have a uh, hub or if you do it on the TV. And uh, yeah, that is possible. Uh, and to 
restore it it works exactly the same you'll find where you've saved it make sure you note it and why is this important to make a backup by the way it is important because whenever you want to reinstall this or install it on a different device then you don't need to reorder everything favorite the list etc etc you can just restore it after you logged in your premium uh so that's the first thing you log in your premium and then you get the ability to restore uh it will be exactly the same so you don't even need to log in the playlist anymore um that's about it for this part now let's dive deeper de uh, deeper in in the settings itself um let's get out of the settings and go to the visual area i'm just going to change the appearance as you can see and go all the way down this is the transparency we want it to be zero okay for this tutorial okay we're currently here uh this is the guide so for instance if i want to make this go here i'll just click and hold the ok button you'll get a lot of more options here you can add it to favorites which i really love uh you can ask assign a different epg if you see that it's wrong you can block it you can hide it um, but you can also reorder right here you can press OK. Oh, press OK. And then we'll be rewarded. Now, if I want this one right here, it goes right here. It's that easy. It is that easy. You can make it easier. If I want this one right here, bum. OK. Uh, favorites. Let's uh, press OK. Oh, back first. Press and hold OK. Uh, you can also do this if you want. I want. Uh, get too much in it uh, you do need an external drive for that um yeah let's go to favorites add favorites i want this one and you can add favorites from different categories so it'll be all in one list so you don't need to swipe over categories so now if i hit left i have left again you will be uh in your favorite list uh if I hit left again, it's not possible. Let me check first. Yeah, you need to hit back here and then left and then left again. And then you will be pointed in this interface here. So as you can see, your interface is much better when you purchase a premium. And here you can go actually to your recordings and to the other sections, categories where you can actually play those uh, and here you can go back to uh, settings same settings we were in before um, yeah I think uh, that's about it uh, let's see what else yes so again uh, what we've inc explained today is how you can download it how you can install it how you can log in, how you can reorder, uh, change the transparency, make a backup, restore a backup, uh, the record button. I've showed you how you can reorder groups, how you can hide them, and uh, how you can add a favorite list. So yeah, that, that's about it. Uh, I think that uncovers practically everything you need to know to make this work for you. Uh, again, just press and hold to get the settings right here. Uh, test it out. See what's working for you. I hope I explained it good. I haven't given maybe the exact good words for it. Uh, I'm truly, sincerely sorry about that. But this is how far I can go uh, between the yeah possibilities that I have. Um, if you have any questions or feedback for me, leave them in the comment section. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel. Goodbye.